Akoye Media. Prove it with the film. Oh, man. Uh, a couple things I want to touch on, man. Uh, you know, because I, I, I have a unique perspective, as some other breakdown guys or YouTubers do as well, um, but I have a unique perspective of actually watching these games multiple times, countless amounts of times we watch the Cowboys games and other NFL games, right? But um, when I watch, um, you know, you, you kind of get lost sometimes in a name. You know, you get lost in, a, in your favorite player. And I do this too. I'm a fan just like everybody else. Don't think that I'm, you know, I know a lot of you think I'm non-biased, but I'm, I'm biased as they come when it comes to just me watching a game. So sometimes, you know, you might even hear in my breakdowns, I have a hard time shutting that part of me down so that I can be objective. And I'm working on that. Obviously, I wasn't a journalist. I'm not a, uh, journal, uh, a communications major. But, you know, I'm learning as we go, so to speak, how to keep my personal feelings out of my work but um this is all personal man like i guess um i like dayton jones man uh and i'm not bandwagon hopping i'm serious i watched uh dayton jones i watched him in the seattle game he was disruptive I watched him in the uh oakland game he was disruptive the giants game disruptive the eagles game disruptive the dude is only like 290, 288, you know, somewhere in there. But um, he has a way of uh, of, of one gap, and it's so crazy. Like he's he's, he's definitely uh, a penetrating um, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter where you put him. He, I wouldn't say he would be a, a one gapper. Though. I think he's a three technique guy. Um, so he is a backup. Obviously, he's not going to start over your Irvings. Probably won't even start over Jahai Ward in that three tech. I got the hiccups a little bit. Uh, probably won't start over Jahai Ward, though, in that three technique either. So, with that said, I mean, temper your expectations. Barring injury, he probably won't get a ton of playing time. But one thing you can, can say is that when he plays, he goes balls to the wall. You know, he balls out. I like, I like him. I'm working on uh, D-Law. And Deton Jones as a follow-up piece to the Taco and Crawford and Gregory pieces because I'm focused on, as I have been for the last month, on the defensive line. So, with that said, I, man, I, these hiccups are killing this fucking uh, recording, I'm telling you. Just give me a second. You gotta drink that Pellegrino. They need to give me a sponsorship or something. Because I just now sold it. Listen, hiccups going too. Pellegrino. Yeah, see, you see the little uh the wording. We're gonna put it right across the bottom of the screen. Alright. My fault, fellas and ladies. Um, but um what I was saying was our, our defensive line is what I'm focused on now. So looking at D Law, um, I had the opportunity to look at D, uh, D uh, Dayton Jones as well at that time. And uh um Lewis Neal. Uh, also, Ross, I think his name is, we had on the team number 68, I believe he was. Lewis Neal, 66. But, yeah, they, they all play serviceably. <sighs> the um, the the primary focus, though, what I, what, I, what I really take away from looking at every level of our defense is right now, without injury, because I always have to say that because anything can happen, you have trades that happen, you know, this team might not even look the same come start of the season. Who knows? But at this point in the um, in the season, on paper, we look pretty damn good, man. Uh, even with the one technique uh, missing, you know. So Collins is is pretty much it, and Price. Uh, I think a little bit of Ash. Those guys can play that one, but you know, we have a we have more than enough three technique guys. Uh, Ely can even play the three. Uh, when 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 you want to move him inside, so we have more than enough three techs. We have more than enough pass rushers from the left, especially. We don't have too many right defensive ends. I think the only two who could truly play it and play it well are uh, D. Law and probably Gregory. They have the explosiveness and Tapper. I think Tapper Tapper has that first step to be a true right defensive end. 
Um, but the rest are all lefts. Tapper can play left, probably plays it better. Law plays left, probably better than he plays right. Um, and then you have Armstrong, who I think still does. We don't know what he's going to be yet, so he could play either side. But he's he's really, he's. I think he's going to have a Taco-esque first year. You know, a few sacks. You know, probably going to look lost out there a little bit because he's a rookie. Probably has to get his strength up. Who knows? I don't know what he's coming in with. So, you know, according to the tape, he, he he's just a athlete, you know, as far as pass rush moves. When you watch his uh, college tape, um, he doesn't show, you know, he's not like DeQuinn Osborne out there where he's showing a bunch of, you know, pass rush skill. But he does have the strength, the leverage, and the size and explosiveness to, to wreak havoc on anybody. So I think he's going to use his raw talents to try to, you know, play ball this year. But let next year he'll be a lot more cerebral, and he'll you know he'll bring that mental aspect to the game. So um, I'm I'm giving you know Doris Armstrong a uh, a pass just like I gave Taco a pass. Um, you know even though I did beat Taco up in the film, um, but that's because people were asking for it. Like everyone asked for a Taco breakdown, and no one really understands why there was no Taco breakdown being released ever. And that's why because you know there's not much to break down there I, I knew that already though you know it was gonna it was, it was gonna come out as a negative hit piece um and not that i'm apologizing for it I, i'm not um, but i knew it was gonna come out as such because of the stage in his career that he's in and because of what i saw just watching the games i just didn't see anything that flash you know so i knew that whereas the secondary and, and the linebacking core you kind of can see that there was you know good play there at times you know even Jalen had his spots but um Taco didn't have really too much other than the sacks that he got. You know, he wasn't like wreaking havoc or dismantling uh, teams or disrupting drives or anything like that, really, uh, on a regular basis. Uh, just wasn't. And that's fine. But uh, nonetheless, you know, that's that's really, you know, where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm, I'm watching and, and trying to, you know, see who's, uh, who, who's going to come out on top in that shuffle on the front end of our defense so the the defensive line primarily um the guys that i like as the 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 uh presumed starters starting the season uh because irving's out uh because i don't know what collins will do i'm looking at crawford jihad and law uh at, law at the left and then the right is still a question mark it really depends on how fast gregory comes along and how developed tapper actually is um, I'm not sure who's going to start on the right side. Might even be Taco. Don't be surprised uh, if Taco starts on the right or left to begin the season uh, because of the development of Gregory and the injury to Collins. And we have so many moving parts going on right now, which will make us better because if those guys get, you know, if Taco can get some playing time while Irving is out and while Collins is out, uh, Crawford gets playing time while he's out. So they're, they're all at midseason form, and then they're taking a step back in week four. And, and you know, and then you'll have a, a lineup that probably looks like, um, you know, Law. I'm thinking by week four, week five, you're going to be looking at D-Law, Collins, Irving, and Gregory out there starting. I think that's our, our strongest uh, four, I think that would be. And then behind them, you're probably looking at a Taco left, Crawford, Jihad, Tapper, Taco, Jihad, uh, um, you know, Jihad, uh, uh, Crawford, and um, uh, Dorrance. Who knows who plays that right as a backup? But I think, you know, our front four is, is pretty much solidified. Oh, then you have Ely. I keep forgetting Ely's name, to be honest with you. That's bad because he can actually ball. So, you know, he could very well be starting the season, too. You don't know. So, um, this is a the first time I think I've ever looked at our defensive line and not known who I would even want in certain positions outside of the top four that I just named. I would want them if they're at full strength, you know, so that's Gregory, Law, Collins, and Irving. But outside of that, we have so much talent that even if Irving's down, even if, God forbid, Law went down, I would be, you know, we would miss him for sure. But I wouldn't have a problem playing Crawford on that left side. I wouldn't have a problem playing Ely over there. I wouldn't have a problem with that. I wouldn't even have a problem with putting Irving on the left side and putting 
uh, Crawford inside with with Collins. You know, like Irvin can play the left defensive end position. Uh, he's explosive enough. His first step is good enough, and he's strong enough. He's like Calais Campbell for us. Um, you know, he's not as big as Calais. He's a little smaller, a little more finesse than Calais is, but he does have that speed and explosiveness and length that, that a Calais Campbell has. So, you know, who knows what we have out there as far as that front four shuffle, man. But I'm excited to see how it plays out. Shout out to uh, to West Coast Cowboy. I know you're at training camp now. We got we're we're looking pretty good out there as far as um, on the field and in practice. I know there are no pads on, but you know Dak's actually throwing the ball pretty well. He's probably you know he's probably watched uh, No Excuses sixty thousand times just to you know say hey this year I'm going to shove it in Okoye's face and hopefully he does because that way we're winning. Uh, but if he doesn't, you know hey you know as always next year. So anyway, Dak looks better with no pads right now. Um, he's hitting Tavon and and Beasley pretty well. Um, I'm I'm at like uh, in my off season mode, just waiting for this baby to drop. I keep missing shows because I want this baby to come out so bad. And uh, you know, it's like something about Tuesdays. I was supposed to be on Law's show, and or me and Law was supposed to do a show on Tuesday. Didn't get a chance to do it because we were in the hospital once again. I'm at the hospital now, just sitting in the car waiting for it come out of her appointment but figured I'd talk to you guys and touch you guys while uh, I wait so uh, hopefully I'm not too rusty but uh, nonetheless I'll get with you guys soon uh, as I said I'm working on D-Law and Dayton Jones I have to do a voiceover for another volume of Sean Lee I have that done too so uh, who knows which one I toss out there first but you'll be seeing something in a day or so like I can I can get one out tonight but I have a little bit of running around to do but I'll talk to you guys soon, man. Uh, never, 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 ever sleep on what we do uh, out here as far as Cowboy Nation is concerned. We we have the best fan base, I think, uh, because I look at other teams and I don't see anyone doing what we're doing uh, for their team. So I'm thinking, you know, at the end of the day, let's all, you know, get our minds right, get our uh, fan faces on, man, and make this year – you know that 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 chase for the six, um, you know is is that a bust for me? I'm I'm tired of consolation prizes and moral victories, man. Let's fucking win, and get it over with. Um, this has been a hell of a five month ride so far on YouTube. I'm loving, you know, creating this content. I love talking to you guys. I love, you know, you're just touching the audience in general. And I I'm, I'm overwhelmed by the Patreon support that I've been getting. I thank you guys for it, and I'm also overwhelmed by the amount of people who actually are sending in videos. I mean, I have, I I, I started a reward on Patreon that just basically says, you know, you 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 donate ten or more, and I throw your and you send me an intro, obviously via email, and I'll put your intro in my intros. Um, I'm gonna have to spread those out a bit because I got quite a few people who who actually went out. Um, and I appreciate you all for it. I will be putting you all in the credits as we move forward. And I will be throwing your intros in because I am a man of my word if I am nothing more. Um, also on Patreon, one thing that I'm teetering with now. Um, and, and you guys can poll, I guess, in the comments here. And let me know how interested you would be in that. If you're watching this far, I know you're interested. Uh, because we're 13 minutes in. I'm sorry for being so long-winded. But if you are watching now, then you know that... Um, um, at the end of the day, I do quite a bit of film work, you know, and when I do, it takes a while. I can share my screen live, and I'm going to start doing that for Patreon-only uh, clients or viewers, where I'll share my screen as I edit this film. You guys can talk to me live while I edit, while I edit and uh, while I look at certain plays, so you can see what I'm looking at, because a lot of people think that I'm just cherry-picking. I'm not cherry-picking. I'll take a body of work from a specific set of games based on fairness. Like, I try to, to look at games near the end of the season, or I try to look at their best game versus their worst game so that it's a balanced assessment. Um, even the Taco, I looked at the end of the season because I figured he would be at his best by the end of the season. So didn't want to look at anything in the beginning because I figured that would be laughable. And it was still, you know, pretty bad at the end. So... That, that's how that happened. A lot of you think I cherry-picked that taco film. I didn't. It's just, you know, I picked the last three games of the season because I figured he would be playing beyond midseason form at that point. Um, and that was all. But 
Um, I will share that 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 behind the scenes with you guys on Patreon as well, and that's only for a dollar. For those of you guys who who donate a dollar a month, you know we, you know we pay more than a dollar for the Pellegrino. So you can't tell me that the content isn't worth more than that. But those of you guys who uh, who pay a dollar or more a month, I'll be doing that once a month where I go out and you can uh, tune in live while I uh, while I edit and and uh, go through these uh, these pieces, man. Uh, so if you're interested in that, it's there. Uh, but for those of you who are already uh, donating, didn't mean to take this long on this piece of it. It's not a commercial, but I do thank you. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you guys. Talk to you soon. Koye out.